associativity of addition of rational numbers. We are going to discuss whether addition is associative for rational numbers or not. What does that mean? It means if we have three rational numbers A, B and C, then let's assume two cases. The case one is first you add, first you perform A plus B, then add C to it. And the second case is first you perform B plus C and then add A to it. Okay, the difference is first A plus B in this case, but in this case B plus C. If the sum of these two cases are equal, if this is equal, right, the sum, let's assume that this is sum 1 and this also comes as sum 1, the values are the same. If this is the condition that A plus B plus C is equal to A plus B plus C, then we say that addition is associative for rational numbers and that is what we are going to check here. So in this case 5 over 7 plus minus 3 over 21 within the bracket square bracket then plus 10 over 3. It means that this is A plus B and then outside the brackets we have C. So let's perform it. The first step will be to take the LCM of 7 and 21. LCM of 7 and 21. Now the basic requirement for these to understand these video tutorials is that you should at least know the addition of rational numbers, subtraction, multiplication and division. If you haven't uh, learned about the addition, subtraction, division and multiplication, then this will be tough for you. So you can go to the playlist that is uh, class 7 mathematics and you can find number of uh, video tutorials on rational numbers. We have uh, discussed them in detail. Please watch those tutorials. So LCM of 7 and 21 is 21. Okay, now here we take the denominator will be 21. So 21 divided by 7 gives us 3, the quotient will be 3. So we'll multiply the quotient with the numerator and then this is plus. Here it's already 21, so need, no need to change. This is minus 3 and write as it is, that is 10 over 3. Okay, now this becomes 15 over 21. And outside the bracket is plus, inside the bracket is minus, so this becomes minus 3 over 21. Plus 10 over 3. Now, this becomes 21, the denominators are the same, so simply write 21 here because if you take uh, the LCM of 21 and 21, it will be 21 only. 15 minus 3 plus 10 over 3. This gives you 12 over 21 plus 10 over 3 right we get from this one now if you add this one again you'll have to find the lcm of 21 and 3 because we want to make them like rational numbers so lcm of 21 and 3 will be 21 only okay so it means here we already have 21 so simply write it write the numerator then plus here we have if we get 21 then we'll have to multiply if you divide 21 by 3 you get 7 so multiply 10 with 7 you get 12 over 21 plus 12 over 21 plus 70 over 21 right and this gives you this gives you 21 12 plus 70 if you solve it you get 82 or 21 82 or 21 now remember this answer i'm just going to copy it here x and v okay i'm just putting it here and i'm going to remove i'm going to delete this because i need space to solve further so i'm removing it okay 
Now I'm going to perform this one was for a plus b then plus c. Now I'm going to perform of this form that is a plus b plus c. So in this case what's b? b is minus 3 over 21. So at the place of a we'll write simple that is 5 over 7 right then plus put the square bracket. Why square bracket? Because we already have this small bracket uh, for this minus 3 over 21. So minus 3 over 21 then plus what c? c is 10 over 3. Right? Okay. Write 5 over 7 as it is because first we have to add these two. Now what's the LCM of 21 and 3? The first step will be to take LCM of 21 and 3. So the LCM of 21 and 3 will be 21. So this is 21 and here we put minus 3 because LCM is 21 it's already 21 right plus here now if this denominator becomes 21 so 21 divided by 3 gives us what 7 so this becomes 10 times 7 okay now if you solve it you get 5 over 7 plus 21 because the denominators are the same you take LCM of 21 21 you'll get 21 only now here we have minus 3 and then plus 70 okay you get 5 over 7 plus this is 70 this is minus 3 it means you'll get 67 so 67 over 21 now again if we have to add these two rational numbers it means that we, we would like to have two like rational numbers and for that we always take LCM LCM of 7 and 21 the LCM of 7 and 21 will be 21 only okay so let's add this I'm doing it here so in the denominator if we want 21 So if we divide 21 by 7, we get 3 as the quotient. So this is 5 times 3. Then plus, it's already 21. So write it as it is 21. And then this is 67. You get 15 over 21 plus 67 over 21. And you get 82, 92 over 21. Right? Now, Sorry, this is not 92, this is 82. I'm really sorry. This is 82. Now, look at this one and look at this one. Are these two exactly the same? Well, the answer is yes, they are exactly the same. So we just, we have just seen that, we have just seen that A plus B plus C is actually equal to a plus B plus C. Let's take one more example. In this case, I have taken all the rational numbers as the as negative rational numbers. These are negative rational numbers. So in this case, it's actually what? This is A, this is B, this is C. So first I'm going to perform A plus B plus c okay so let's perform what's a the same thing that's written here so i should begin from here only so this is minus 11 over 5 plus minus 6 over 10 we want two like rational numbers to be added because in that case we'll have the same denominator and to do that we know we first take lcm of 5 and 10 so LCM of 5 and 10 gives us what? 10. 
So let's begin our calculation. This is, if the denominator has to become 10, then divide 10 by 5, what do we get? We get 2. So this is minus 11 times 2 plus it's already 10, so we need not to change anything. This is minus 6 over 10 plus minus 7 over 100, that is C. Okay, now this becomes minus 22 over 10. Outside the bracket is plus, inside the bracket is minus, so this becomes minus 6 over 10. And this is plus minus 7 over 100. This is already, this denominators are the same, so write simply 10. This is minus 22, this is minus 6, plus minus 7 over 100. From this you get minus 28 over 10, right? And then plus minus 7 over 100. Now again we have to, you know, deal with two rational numbers that is addition. But here if you notice one thing, if you remove this bracket, this one, so this becomes minus 28 over 10. Outside the bracket is plus, inside the bracket is minus, so this becomes minus 7 over 100. Now, we have here minus 28 over 10 and then 7 over subtraction of 7 over 100. Take LCM of 10 and 100 because it will make like rational numbers. So, I'm doing it here. LCM of 10 and 100, this gives you 100. So for this one, if we want denominator as 100, divide 100 by 10, what we get? We get 10. So this becomes minus 28 times 10. We'll simply multiply the numerator with the quotient that you get after dividing this 100 with 10. Then minus this is already 100, so simply write it 100 and this is 7. This becomes minus 280 over 100 and minus 7 over 100. Here we get 100. This is minus 280 minus 7. This is minus 287 over 100. Right? So this was for the first part. The answer is minus 28, 7 over 100. I'm just going to copy this. Control X. Let me put it here. And let me remove all this. So this is the answer we got for the first part. Now let's perform. We have to perform now A plus B plus C. That means A is minus 11 over 5. Then plus within the square bracket B is what? Minus 6 over 10. C is what? Minus 7 over 100. Okay, now we have to add two rational numbers. Take LCM of 10 and 100. So LCM of 10 and 100 gives you 10, sorry, 100, right? So this is, this becomes minus 11 over 5 plus, we want the denominator as 100. If we divide 100 by 10, what we get? We get 10 as a quotient. So simply multiply this numerator with 10. 
then this is plus it's already 100 here so simply write 100 and this is minus 7 now you get minus 11 over 5 plus minus 60 over 100 outside the bracket is plus inside the bracket is minus so minus 7 over 100 this is minus 11 over 5 plus now we take simply denominators are the same so put 100 here this is minus 60 and minus 7 what do we get we get minus 11 over 5 plus minus 67 over 100 right now I'm solving it here this one you take LCM of 5 and 100 so or first let's open the bracket so this becomes minus 11 over 5 outside the bracket is plus inside is minus so this becomes minus 67 over 100 okay now minus 11 over 5 minus 67 over 100 take LCM of 5 and 100 if you take LCM of 500, you will get 100 as the LCM, right? So this becomes, we want, we want the denominator equal to 100, that is equal to the LCM. So if you write here 100, if we divide 100 by 5, what you get? You get 20, right? So this is minus 11 times 20. Minus, it's already 100. So simply write 100 here and then put 67. Here you get this one becomes minus 220 over 100 minus 67 over 100. This gives you 100 and this is minus 220 minus 67 that is minus 287 over 100. Right, so this one is exactly equal to this one. Again, we have proved that if a plus b plus c is performed, then this is actually equal to a plus b plus c. Therefore, yes, when it comes to associate addition. Uh, addition of rational numbers is associative. Addition is associative for rational numbers.